If you're thinking you're gonna get to see an odd breed of dog or some weird bird on this list, you better think again. The creatures on today's list actually straddle the line between fact and fiction. And if I haven't verified through research that these animals actually exist, I would probably just dismiss them as internet hoaxes. Here are five shocking animals that are hard to believe. Number five, the hairy frogfish. Despite its name, the hairy frogfish isn't actually covered in hairs. Despite having a hairy appearance, the hairs are actually skin appendages or spinules which cover the frogfish's body, head, and fins. These spinules can be thick and long, or very short or even almost invisible. Hairy frogfish are formidable predators. They are a species of anglerfish and come equipped with the same lure-like appendage anglerfish are known for. This lure is actually a modified dorsal spine and looks kind of like a fleshy worm. When the frogfish spots its prey, it will follow the prey by eye movement only. When the prey draws close enough, the frogfish will start moving its lure to bring the prey even closer. If the prey does not respond to the lure, the frogfish will stealthily start to crawl towards its intended victim. Yes, these guys actually do crawl on the sea floor and are very awkward swimmers. When they feel the need to move a bit faster, they do a series of jet-propelled jumps. They do this by sucking in water through their mouths and expelling it in jets through the small gill openings behind their legs, which are their rear fins. When the intended prey is only a short distance away, the frogfish will take time to carefully orient itself so it is facing its victim, and it will adjust its mouth angle in preparation for striking. As soon as the prey is within one body length of the frogfish, it will strike with lightning speed. They have extremely small teeth, which isn't really good for anything. They will either swallow their prey whole, they can expand their mouths to accommodate prey up to twice their size, and they also have an incredibly flexible stomach, which expands depending on the size of the food that they eat. If they so happen to swallow prey that their stomach can't handle, it immediately gets vomited out, usually alive. They normally keep to themselves, but when two hairy frogfish are seen together, it's often a female which is ready to mate and a male which is guarding her. Prior to mating, the female frogfish starts producing up to 180,000 eggs, and the male will begin to nudge her abdomen. When the pair are both ready, they swim up to the surface together, which is where the female releases her eggs in a ribbon-like mass. This is known as an epipelagic egg raft. The male immediately fertilizes the eggs, which remain buoyant for several days. The egg raft eventually sinks down to the bottom again when the embryos are ready to hatch. Juveniles can be just a few millimeters long and already have active lures. Number 4. The Naked Mole Rat Naked mole rats, as their name suggests, are pink, nearly hairless subterranean rodents, and you might be familiar with them if you've watched Kim Possible or played Fallout. These surprisingly long-lived animals are one of the only true e-social mammals and live in underground burrows in eastern Africa. E-social mean they don't really behave like most mammals, but rather like insects, funnily enough. They live in communities like those of many insects. Several dozen rats live together in colonies led by one dominant rat, the queen. As in some insect species, the queen is the only naked mole rat female to breed and bear young. Worker animals dig the burrows that the whole clan inhabits, using their prominent teeth and snouts. They also gather the roots and bulbs for the colony to eat. Other rats tend to the queen. Aside from living like insects and the way it looks, there are also quite a few weirder things about this creature. For one, they can move their front teeth independently from each other, allowing them to move much like chopsticks. They also don't need to drink water. They get all their moisture needs from their 100% plant diet. But just when it seemed like the naked mole rat couldn't get any weirder, it turns out the buck-toothed, bare-skinned rodents don't even age. Unlike literally every other mammal, naked mole rats don't become more likely to die as they get up there in years. The animal's biology is downright weird, and they can live without oxygen for up to 18 minutes without ill effect. They do this by switching over to metabolizing fructose instead of the more usual glucose. They almost never get cancer, and they live bizarrely long, over 30 years in captivity and up to 17 years in the wild. Based on their size, naked mole rats should live about 6 years in cushy conditions, just like lab mice. But it seems their lack of normal aging might help explain their longevity. Scientists are investigating the reason for the naked mole rat's weird biology, and the results can possibly have medical applications. Number 3. The Red-Lipped Batfish the red-lipped batfish is a deep-water fish usually found near the Galapagos Islands, and its defining and admittedly abnormal attribute is its mouth, big for its body, which usually grows to about 25 centimeters. The red-lipped batfish's lips look like a pair of Twizzlers melting in the sun. 
Although the reason for the fish's striking pout is unclear, some scientists think it's used to attract a mate. Look how the tip of its pink tongue sticks out of its mouth, and imagine how sensual that might be if you were a fish. You ought to travel to the Galapagos Islands in the Pacific Ocean to see the red-lipped batfish for yourself. In fact, its scientific name, Ocococephalus darwini, is inspired by the famous scientist Charles Darwin who derived his theory of evolution from his work in the Galapagos. Red-lipped batfish are typically found at depths of about 30 to 60 feet, but can be found in deeper waters up to 400 feet. They prefer to hang out in sandy or rock bottoms that help them blend into the seafloor. Although it does live in deep water, this fish is not a good swimmer. The batfish's body is built like an airplane, or a bat, which probably gives it its name. It has both pectoral and pelvic fins, which it uses to scurry clumsily along the ocean floor, and a small fleshy anal fin underneath its tail, kind of like a propeller. Although they are capable of swimming, you're likely to find them walking on the seafloor by alternating their limb-like fins. It's hard to describe, but it kind of looks like a walking frog. If the fish does decide to swim, it can tuck its pectoral fins underneath its body and move its tail and pelvic fish back and forth to power forward. It's about as awkward looking as it really sounds. Oh, and that thing in the middle of its face that looks kind of like male genitalia? Well, it's actually a horn covered in little hairs called an elysium. It's a retractable appendage common for other deep water fish like the anglerfish that the fish uses like a lure to attract prey. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today's pick is an animal that can be found in the Marianas Trench and has evolved characteristics that are vital for its survival in the dark waters of the place it calls home. The thing is, these characteristics also make it one of the weirdest animals in the world. Find out what it is next with number two, the barrel eye fish. At first glance, the barrel eye fish looks more like an alien creature than anything earthly. But the elusive barrel eye is very much a real creature and it lives deep in our oceans. The barrel eye gets its name from the pair of tubular eyes embedded in its transparent head. It looks something like a deep ocean submarine with a large glass window. But this bizarre physical trait is actually an astute hunting tool that illuminates the abyss in which the barrel eye lurks. These fish have been found at depths as far as 2,600 feet and typically around the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, Australia, and New Zealand. They are believed to prey on drifting jellyfish, copepods, or small crustaceans, and other types of small animals found in the deep sea. Like other deep sea fish with unusual physiologies, the transparent head of the barrel eye is believed to be an adaptation that has allowed it to see into the dark depths of the ocean. Marine biologists have long known that the tubular eyes were adept at collecting light but they initially thought that the eyes of the barrel eye were fixed in place, allowing the animal to only look directly above it. Then in 2009, researchers at the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute were able to observe a live barrel eye fish that was successfully brought to the surface for several hours. During their observation of it, biologists uncovered some shocking revelations. First, researchers noticed that the eyes of the barrel eye weren't just strange looking, they were also green. Scientists believe that the green coloring helps the barrel eye to filter out sunlight from the surface far above it. It also likely helps the barrel eye to spot the bioluminescent glow of their prey above. Also, aside from being fixed, they found that the eyes also rotate and can see forward. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Shoebill. Shoebill storks have been called the world's most terrifying bird. These stately wading birds stalk the marshes of South Sudan, Uganda, and elsewhere in tropical East Africa, snatching up prey with their unique, immediately recognizable bills. Shoebills live in the vast wetlands of the Nile washed in Eastern Africa. They grow four to five feet tall, have bluish gray plumage and eight plus foot wingspan, and their bill, which takes up a majority of their face, kind of looks like a huge Dutch wooden clog, actually. They are ever present in ancient Egyptian artwork, and ancient Arabs also showed respect for the bird by calling it Abu Makub, which literally translates to father of a slipper. How that's supposed to be a term of reverence escapes me at the moment, but one thing is for sure. Shoebills have always been, and will always be, named after some kind of footwear. To accompany their terrifying looks, shoebills are quite adept hunters, hunting like the swamp bosses that they are. The shoebill will stand there motionless as a statue and wait for some poor lungfish, which is their preferred prey, or even a baby crocodile to swim by. 
Then the bird will pounce forward all five feet of it, with its massive bill wide open, engulfing its target along with water, mud, vegetation, and probably any other hapless fish minding their own business. Clamping down on its prey, the bird will start to swing its massive head back and forth, tipping out whatever stuff it didn't want to eat. The IUCN Red List estimates between 3,300 and 5,300 mature shoe bills live in the world today, and that number is decreasing. The iconic birds are threatened by a number of anthropogenic forces. This includes the loss of their marshland habitats from farming, livestock ranching, oil and gas exploration, fires, pollution, and even more. They rarely breed in captivity, making them not ideal for captive breeding programs. In fact, only two chicks have been successfully hatched in the past hundred years. They are also especially sought after by poachers in the illegal animal trade. According to some reports, private collectors in Dubai and Saudi Arabia will pay $10,000 or more for a live shoe bill. Do you know of any other unbelievable animal that should have been on this list? Let us know down below in the comments. Also check out our other channels with other amazing videos. As always, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Later everybody!